let me tell you a little bit more in detail what are the stations the different levels on the Vedic way well the development starts really with sattva contacting sattva or the mode of equibalance uh, is the first level of the Vedic way you know we learn how to eat properly how to adopt our lifestyles how to improve our relationships all these things which are on the first level uh, the physical uh, level mm. then mm, we come to Dharma uh, Dharma refers to our unique purpose in this life our unique talent or gift if you so want from which evolves our our mission what we could do and what we most probably should be doing uh, Dharma of course is very much related to another Vedic term which is Karma Karma uh, tells us what we bring into this life uh, what is our so to say uh, is state uh, Dharma helps us to uh, improve and to evolve from there by using our uh, karma. Then the next level is very exciting uh, as well. It is Atma. Uh, Atma refers to the immortal self. Uh, this all deals with the transpersonal dimension of our existence. Uh, uh, that level where we are the observer of our body and our mind. It is really about the spiritual self. Then comes uh, the next step, uh, the higher connection to Paramatma, the higher self. Uh, there's a beautiful sentence. Mm, uh, it says, mm, a higher state of being always means a higher state of connectedness. And this fourth level, the Paramatma level, immediately brings us into bhakti uh, bhakti which is to be found in the innermost core of each human being's uh, self that divine uh, spring of, div uh, of uh, spiritual energy of course bhakti will always remain a little bit like a gift from above a gift which easily is given when the receiver is ready. So in short, the Vedic way takes us through five areas, five territories uh, and trains us how to do well in each one. Live in balance is the first uh, slogan if you so want. Uh, the area of our life, uh, uh, our immediate life, is addressed. Uh, then, uh, live in your purpose, in your dharma. The third st step, live in yourself. And the fourth, live in the higher connection. And ultimately, everything comes to bhakti live in pure love I am so excited about this Vedic way because I have practiced this for now 40 years I know I don't look so old but I am a little bit old <laughs> and I have seen how it transforms so many people who apply the principles properly in their life.